welcome to the second hour of Kentucky Sports Radio on Talk Radio 1080. Now, here's Matt Jones. Welcome back, hour number two, Kentucky Sports Radio, here live as KSR goes back to high school at Madison Southern. We're right next to Eagles Hall of Distinction, where I bet if he's not already up, he will be up at some point. Damian Harris. Uh, Damian, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing well. Uh, first of all, this is a small school. Right. I mean, and you, you've you had gotten so much. you got to, a game on ESPNU coming. How great has it been? For not just for you, but for this school, the attention, everything is brought to you guys. I mean, have you been? Has it been fun for you? Uh, it's definitely been fun. You know, it's a great honor for you know people to start to look at us as a as a big program. You know, even though we're not a big school, but uh, you know, we we've started to get a lot of attention. You know, not just me, but you know, all my teammates, uh, this school. So it's definitely been great for all the all my teammates. You know, the teachers and the building. You know, the entire community. Are you excited to be on national television? I mean, I, I, for a high school game. I mean that that didn't used to happen. That's got to be kind of exciting. Well, it is definitely exciting, but uh, you know, we we're just going to take it like it's another game. Uh, you know, we're playing a great opponent. So, you know, we can't get caught up in the fact that there's going to be a bunch of cameras there. You know, we, we, gotta, we still got to play. See, that's a great answer, Ryan. He knows the coach answer right there. We'll take it one game at a time. We play <laughs> South Laurel time. tonight, and then we get to uh, play. Doesn't he sound like James Young? He's got that voice like that. <laughs> he have, he, does he have his own line of clothing like James Young did when he was here? Hopefully someday. Someday. All right. Well, you know, you've heard all the accolades people say about you. You know, this uh, Ryan has been covering sports in, high school sports in Kentucky for over 20 years, says he thinks you're the best he's seen uh, at running back you know sean alexander played in the nfl from here uh, eric shelton played in the nfl that people talk about how did when you get mentioned with that group and so people sort of putting you as number one running back in the country that's got to be a tremendous honor isn't it uh it's, it's an incredible honor you know i know that i've been blessed you know with a great you know great ability to play the game of football i've been blessed with great teammates you know who also helped me get to where i am um, it is, it's great to, to be in a category with such, you know, pr- prestigious players, um, such a, a high group of, you know, football players from the state of Kentucky. But, you know, you, you can't get caught up in it. You know, I've still got, you know, a year of high school left. You know, I've still got college. I haven't really accomplished much yet, you know. So I just got to take it day by day. Do you – all right, what do you think, you know, Ryan has analyzed your game. I haven't seen you play yet. I'm going to see you tonight. But Ryan's analyzed your game. He says he thinks what makes you special is when you see a hole, that initial burst. If you were breaking down your own game, what do you think is are your strengths? Where do you think some things you need to work on? I mean, how would you break down Damian Harris as a player? Uh, that's always the hardest question. Um, you know, I think I, I've got good patience as far as, you know, letting – letting my line, you know, develop the holes. Because, you know, a lot of running backs want to, as soon as they get the ball, they want to just take off. But, you know, if you outrun your blockers, you mm-hmm. know, you're going to be one on five or six. So, uh, you know, I think I've got a good ability to, you know, let plays kind of develop. Um, and then, you know, like you said, once I see a hole, you know, I try to burst it as fast as possible. Um, you know, because you got to let it develop first, and then you just got to get from point A to point B as fast as you can. But, uh, you know, I feel like down the field, second second level, you know, I've got good vision. Um, I can make good back hip cuts. You know, if a, if a defender's got a good angle on me, you know, I like to cut off his back hip. Um, you know, good balance. Just you know, I, it's kind of hard. No, I mean, you this, listen. So. You can, it is very hard, but you actually did a good job there. Uh, uh, you know, you can brag on yourself a little <laughs> bit. Uh, all right, let's talk. Do you enjoy the recruiting process? Some people enjoy it, some don't. I mean, have you? Do you enjoy uh, all the attention and the coaches and all that? Is that something you you like? Oh, uh, I mean, it, it's de- it definitely comes with it. So, you know, you don't really, unfortunately, whether you like it or not, you, you know, do it, it. it's there. But, you know, I enjoy it. You know, I try not to take it for granted because, um, you know, it is it is an honor. And, uh, you know, I'm blessed to be where I am. So, you know, I try to, you know, have the, the best outlook, you know, in any situation. You know, I try not to get down. You know, I try not to get frustrated, get caught up um, in what's going on. But, you know, I just like to, you know, think that I'm thankful or think that I'm blessed to be where I am. You know, I'm just extremely thankful for it. You have a final list of five, right? What are those five? Uh, uh, Alabama, Ohio State, Kentucky, Texas A&M, and Florida. I mean, that's not a bad list of, uh, of schools. <laughs> Talk to me about Kentucky, obviously. We do a Kentucky show. Right. There was a time you weren't even considering Kentucky. Is that right. fair to say? Definitely. What did Mark Stoops and company what did they do to make you say, okay, well, now I'm going to, and, and to make the interest uh, high for you? Well, whenever Coach Stoops got here, you know, his uh, his first visit, you know, he used his first visit to come see me. And, you know, I kind of I appreciated that because, you know, he could have gone anywhere, especially for, you know, he knew that I wasn't really considering Kentucky. Mm-hmm. 
So, um, but, you know, for him to still make his first visit to come see me, you know, I, I really appreciated that. But, uh, you know, whenever he got here, he just told me to kind of give them a chance to show improvement and show that, you know, they're going to do great things and turn the program around. So, um, you know, I just – I didn't really have a reason not to believe what he was saying. So I just kind of stuck with it, you know, looked and see, you know, signs of progress. So, you know, I went to a couple of practices, started going to games, and, you know, I really it really paid off because, uh, you know, look where they are now. You know, granted, um, they're not undefeated. You know, they're not winning – they haven't won all their games. But, you know, there's definitely obviously signs of improvement. Did it – does it matter to you or did it matter to you? Clearly they showed improvement against Florida. Does it matter to you in making the decision – whether or not Kentucky shows improvement this year. I mean, did you want to see them get better before you would, for instance, maybe pick them? Well, definitely. I mean, people think that it was uh, based off wins and losses. That's not how I, you know, determine my decision. Um, you can you can make improvement, but just because you don't win games, that doesn't mean you're not making improvements and uh, you know, taking the right steps into building a better program. So, you know, I definitely just wanted to see improvement from them, uh, see – how they, you know, use running backs in their offense, you know, that kind of took a lot into it. But uh, just seeing those things, you know, improvement was definitely the biggest. They have been able to do a pretty amazing job r- recruiting there. What do you think is the strength? I mean, I-, I sense that there's a very sort of family atmosphere there, that people are very close, that the recruits end up close. Is that is that true? Do you think that's the case? Well, obviously, you know, I feel that way because, you know, this is where I'm from. Uh, you know, I've grown up 20 minutes, you know, away. But um, the feeling I get from the from the team, you know, the the recruits that are there, it's a very family oriented, family first type of team. Um, you know, it's a it's a very strong brotherhood that's coming together because you know you need something something strong, a strong bond to you know make improvement as a team. So you definitely get that you know that really tight family feel first uh, feeling when when you're on campus. What do they tell you? As to how you would be used in the offense, I mean, what's the what's how would how do they tell you we would see Damian Harris at Kentucky? Well, you know, they're they're turning into a little bit of a red team, a little bit, uh, you know, trying to create more space for, for running backs. You know, that's what they told me. Uh, you know, if I came in, you know, if I was to you know, choose Kentucky, I would go in. Um, and the main reason for that spread offense is to spread out the defense. Because, I mean, it's hard running into eight and nine men boxes, especially in college. So, uh, you know, that spread offense is really what's going to be um, it's going to be a focal point, you know, to spread off the field, uh, get as many players out of the box, you know, that way the run game can really open up. Can I tell you, Ryan, he does not sound like a senior in high school. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, seriously, you're, you're breaking down. I mean, you it sound like I'm talking to an NFL running back. But, all right, let's talk about a couple of the other schools. People think that, uh, you know, Ohio State, Alabama are maybe the, the next level that you look at. First of all, those are great programs. Sure. What's it like to go visit Ohio State? Visit? You just at Ohio State a couple weeks ago. Did you meet LeBron? I didn't get a chance to. He was running a little bit late, but you know that was the plan for uh, for a couple of us to get to meet him. But you know he kind of showed up late, so it kind of ruined it. So Ohio State, Alabama, talk to me about maybe the interest in those schools and, and what that's what, what, what you like about them. Uh, you know they're just premier programs, and you know college football right now. You know they have a extreme, extremely high and prestigious you know history of the game, and um, you know those are those are things that I look for is a uh, is a place with great tradition. Because, um, you know, I've always wanted to, to go somewhere and add on to, to the tradition that they already have. Um, the, both of those places definitely have tradition, uh, great tradition at that. Um, but, you know, as far as that, they're great programs right now. You know, they, they both both teams use the use the running back, you know, in a still kind of that traditional offense. Because, you know, a lot of teams are getting to that spread. You know, they, they try to use more of slot receivers. Receivers, you know, it's more of a quarterback. So would you offense. rather be a spread guy or a traditional guy? Which do you think is better for Damian Harris? You know, if I had to choose, you know, I'd definitely like to, you know, play a pro-style traditional offense. Um, but if I were to go to a school with, with, a, with a spread uh, game plan, you know, I'd just have to adjust as a player, you know, get better as a spread running back. And, you know, that's just something that I would have to do. Yeah. Um, when, uh, in your mind, do you have, you don't have to tell me who it is because you won't, I know. So in your mind, do you have a leader? Like if, if you if you had to decide today, do you know who you would decide? Uh, no, I have no idea. Is that right? Is that right or you just say it now? No, right? it, it, I promise. There, there is no, I don't have a favorite right now. I don't have a top school. You know, people, it, it's funny because I, I like to see, you know, people say, well, here's this top school, yeah. here's this top school. And it's funny because it's people that I, I have no communication with, <laughs> nobody that I know. But for somehow, some reason, they know they something know. that I don't know. 
Yeah. So, but, uh, you know, like I said, you know, all, all five schools in my top five are great schools. Uh, they're great programs. And, you know, I don't have a clear leader right now. I'm just trying to take things. Is there leader. pressure? I mean, you know, look, is there, you're, you're in Kentucky. You're 20 minutes away from UK. I know, maybe not all, but a lot of these people here at Madison Southern want you to probably go to Kentucky. You right. might have some people that you, I mean, the Ohio State's been recruiting you for years, right? right? I mean, do, is there pressure that you, that you feel like I don't want to disappoint people. I mean, how, how do you how do you handle that? Well, uh, yeah, that's a great question. It's, it's obviously a lot of pressure. Um, just people that you know, growing up, have become a huge part of my life. You know, when they're they're from here, you know, you wanna you want the people that that grew up with you and you know were a part of of the process. You want them to be able to come and watch you play. You know, every Saturday. Well, you know, with the exception of away games, but you know, come watch you play. You know, be able to. It'd be easy to come back home. You know, it's only a twenty minute drive. I'm just coming back to see the people that, uh, you know, have positively impacted my life. You know, it's a lot of pressure. But at the same time, you know, if that's not what's best for me, you know, I, I still can't I can't do that just because this is where I'm from. Not saying that, that you know, Kentucky's not the place for me. You know, I, I don't know. But um, I don't really let that affect my decision. You know, I think about it, but, you know, that's not one of the top things that I look at as far as making my decision. Um, I just got to do what's best for me from a football standpoint. You, uh, when you finally comes, what December twelfth is that when you're going to decide? When you finally come to that final time that you're going to decide, how, what do you think is going to be that final impact? I mean, I, you know, a month was a year, year and a half ago. You're committed to a different. You're committed to Michigan, I right. believe, and something you know you changed. Uh, what do you think is going to be the thing that goes? Okay, now I'm content. I know I'm going to do X. Right. What do you think is going to make that happen? Well, you know, like I've said before, a uh, great family feel as far as, you know, coaches, players, the atmosphere, you know, that's all that's all fine and well. But, you know, it, it really just determines on how you know each team does this season. Um, you know, like I said, wins and losses, don't they don't necessarily determine things, but just, you know, signs of improvement, you know, signs of a great team, a great future. Because, you know, I don't want to – I wouldn't want to go somewhere that's kind of – You don't want to go on a sinking ship. Yeah, right. I don't want to go somewhere that's in the in the middle of a downhill – uh, you know, slide, but um, you know, it's just there's not really very many X's and O's. You know, I just you you just know. You just you know. know. You just know. And uh, you know, whenever whenever I know, you know, I'll have that feeling that you know this school, whichever it is, you know, will be best for me. So you know, like I said, there's not very many. It's not like I can make a list of mm-hmm. you know what each team needs to do. But uh, you know, like I said, when I know, I'll know. See, well, I have to tell you, whatever you decide to do. Very. I've done a lot of these, Ryan. As impressive of one of these as I've ever seen in terms of an interview. I mean, you get. You, it's clear wherever you go, you're going to be extremely successful. Thank you. Uh, you. It's also clear at this school how much these people care about you, which is also a great uh, thing to see. Uh, that's unbelievable. And I can't wait to watch you play. Now, I. You know, no offense to South Laurel, I'm ready to watch some action tonight. <laughs> yes, I, we're going to be a lot of people here in blue. You might notice them. Yes, but most importantly, I want to see you. Uh, I want to see the the, the 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 stardom this evening. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, Very sir. nice to meet you, Damien. Yes, Good luck to you, Damian Harris. We're going to take a quick break and come back. We're here live at Madison Southern. This is Kentucky Sports Radio. 